Let's go to page 435 and start with number 1. So this one you want to simplify, so you have 5 to the one uh, square root of 2 power times uh, 5 to the square root of 2 power. Okay, so when you when you multiply, you add the exponent, so it equal to 2 squared by 2. Okay, and that's it. Okay, number 3. Oh, this is only the A. Okay, so let's do the B. You got 5 squared by 2 to the square root of 2. Okay, so this is the power rule. So exponent of exponent, you multiply. So this will equal to 5 to the 2, and this will equal to 25. Okay, let's go to C. You have 5 to the square root of 2 plus 2 over 5 to the square root of 2 minus 2. Okay, so this, this one you have to use a quotient rule. So you have to subtract. So this is equal to 5 to the... Now when you subtract, you have to be very careful. So you have to have square root of 2 plus 2. You have to minus this. You have to minus this will become plus 2. Okay. And so this is equal to 5 to the 4, and this will equal to 6 to 5. So again, when you have subtraction, be careful with these, okay? Okay, let's go to the next one. Number three, you have eight to the pi square. Now this one answer can vary. The easy thing just go and multiply out on the exponents would be eight to the two pi. Okay. Um, okay, let's go to number five. You have q root of four to the six pi. Okay, so again this the when you have the index we equal to denominator, so this will equal to 4 to the 6 pi divided by 3 will equal to 2 pi, and that's it. Okay. Now, if you simplify more, if you make it to 2 to the 4 pi, that's fine too, either way. Okay, okay number 7. Um, okay, you have the fourth root of 9 to the 1 minus pi over 9 to the 1 plus pi. Okay. Um, so, okay, so let's go and subtract first. And th this is going to be equal to 9 to the 1 minus pi minus 1 minus pi, right? You have to minus everything on the bottom, and this is to the 1 fourth power. So this is equal to 9 to the um, so the one can also be minus two pi to the one fourth power. Um, okay, let's go and make this. Um, okay, let's go and multiply. So this is equal to I'm going to make the nine equal to three square. Okay, and I multiply so this will give me negative pi over two. And when I multiply this more, this will equal to three to the negative pi, and so this be equal to one over three pi. That's uh, 1 over 3 to the pi. Okay. okay, let's go to number 9. Okay, you have 2 to the square root of 2. To the negative one over square root of two, so apply the power rule. Exponent of exponent, you multiply. So this will equal to two to the negative one, and so again when you multiply, equal to negative one, and this will equal to one over two. Okay. Okay. Let's go to eleven. What well, number eleven? When you have something to the zero power, it's going to equal to one. Okay. So again, anything to zero power, this is just equal to one. Okay, okay let's go to thirteen. Okay, 
you get 1 plus square root of 3 to the pi minus 1 over 1 plus square root of 3 to the pi plus 1. Okay, so again, this one, you, you have to apply the quotient rule. So this will equal to 1 plus square root of 3 to the pi minus 1. You have to minus everything on the bottom, so it would be minus pi minus 1. So this will equal to 1 plus square root of 3 to the negative 2 power. Okay, then you flip it over, so this will equal to 1 over 1 plus square root of 3 square. And then you have to simplify this because you, you shouldn't have a square root on the denominator. So work it out. So this is going to be 1 plus 2 square root of 3. Again, you square this, you get that. You multiply all these together to get a middle term. And you square this to get the, get the last term. So this will equal to 1 over 4 plus 2 square root of 3. Okay, so you can work it out. So now, to get this part, you need to go and multiply by the conjugate to get rid of that. Okay, that's going to multiply by the conjugate. Okay, so this will equal to 4 minus 2 square root of 3. Now on the bottom, you're going to get 16 minus, and this will be 4 times 3. And so this will equal to 4 minus 2 square root of 3 over 4. And this one you can reduce everything by 2. So you equal to 2 minus square root of 3 over 2. Okay, okay next one. Okay, you have 3 to the x equal to 1 over 27. And this one you're solving. So when you're doing the solving, you want to match the two sides. So it's got 3x equal to 1 over 3 cubed. You flip it over. So 3 to the x equal to 3 to the negative 3. So by matching, you can see x equal to negative 3. Okay, okay 17. You have 8 to the 2 plus uh, x equal to 2. So again, let's try to match two sides. So you got 2 to the 3, right? 8 equal to 2 to the 3. Okay, and this is 2 to the 1. X, then you apply the power rule. So you're going to get 2 to the uh, 6 plus 3x equal to 2 to the 1. So by matching, you're going to get 6 plus 3x equal to 1. Okay, and then you minus 6 on both sides. So you got 3x equal to negative 5. Divide by 3, divide by 3, so x equal to negative 5 over 3. So let's go to 19. Yeah, 27 to the 2x minus 1 equal to 3. Okay, so convert to the lower space, so 3 cubed to the 2x minus 1 equal to 3 to the 1. Okay. And you apply the power rule, so you got 3 to the 6x minus 3, you go to 3 to the 1. Then you match the two sides, so this match with this, so this have to equal to that. So 6x minus 3 equal to 1, plus 3 on both sides. So you got 6x equal to 4, divided by 6, so x equal to 2 over 3. Let's go to 21. Okay, you have 4 to the 2x plus 5 equal to 16 to the x plus 1. Okay. Um, this one, since this already square of this, so you don't have to convert to the lowest base 2. Okay? You, you can, but to convert to base 2 is just complicate things. So recognize that. So, this would, so you can use uh, base 4. Okay. okay. And so you work it out, so you got 4 to the 2x plus 5 equal to 4 to the 2x plus 1. So by matching it up, you get 2x plus 5 equal to 2x plus 1 minus 2x on both sides. So you got 5 equal to 1. And this is impossible, so it would be no solution.
Okay, number 23 is a graph each pair of equation. Okay, we're not going to do graphs, and we're going to skip this one. Okay, let's go to 25. Okay, so you have 25 to the 2x equal to 5 to the x plus 6. Okay, so you can, to solve, you need to match up the uh, two sides. So since this is base 5, let's make this into base 5. So 25 is 5 squared. So you use a power uh, rule, so you got 5 to the you got 5 to the 4x equal to 5 to the x plus 6. So match the match the two sides. So you got 4x equal to x plus 6 minus x on each side. So you got 3x equal to 6 divided by 3 divided by 3. So x equal to 2. Let's go to the next one. Okay, you have 10 to the x minus 1 equal to 100 to the 4 minus x. Okay, so we can make into base 10. Okay? So again, you want to match the two sides. So 100 equal to 10 squared apply the power rule so equal to 10 to the 8 minus 2x match the two sides so you get x minus 1 equal to 8 minus 2x plus 2x on each side so this will cancel out I'm gonna plus 1 on each side so I got 3x equal to 9 divided by 3 divided by 3 so x equal to 3 Go to the next one. Okay, you got four to the two x minus sixty three times four to the x minus sixty four equal to zero. To solve this, so when things get messy, what you do is look for the common part. So notice this. This is. Uh, the exponent is twice as this, so that means this is the square of that. So you want to use z substitution. So take z, or you can use any letter. Yeah, I like to use z. You can use capital A, B, it doesn't matter. So that's going to use z. So that z equal to 4 to the x. Okay? So that, in that, so z squared will equal to 4 to the 2x. So this equation becomes z squared minus 63z minus 64 equal to 0. So you do your master product factoring. So it'd be one comma negative sixty-four. Okay. So you're gonna get z and the z, and it'd be plus one minus sixty-four. Okay. So from here you're gonna get uh, z equal to negative one. You're gonna get z equal to sixty-four. Then you substitute this back in here, so you got 4 to the x equal to negative 1, right? z equal to 4 to the x. So you got 4 to the x equal to 64. Now this one is, this one is no good because 4 to the something will never give you negative number, so this one is no good. So you just have to focus on this one. Okay. Now you can, you can make the lowest base possible, but since this is the exponent of this, you can make it into base 4. Okay. So you get 4 to the x equal to 4 to the 3. Okay. If you, if you make into the lower base 2, that's fine. It will work out the same. Okay. Okay, so by matching, you can see that x equal to 3.